Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and today I'm going to show you how we can create a shelf in Dynamo in Revit. I'm going to open a new project, either metric or architectural template. OK. I would rather change the units, type UN, 2 meters, 3 decimal places, OK and OK, manage Dynamo. I'm going to open a new project in Dynamo. And uh, I want to use actually a set of vertical grids. So point by coordinates. And then if I bring one sequence, I can go with X and Z and go with cross product to get the points. Next, I want to actually randomize the location of the points by translating them in the y direction, which is the normal of this x, y, z surface. So I need to go to translate, geometry. So you see, if I assign, for instance, 1 to y, it's going to move the grid by 1 meter aligned with the y direction. But I want to actually go with a random number. So I want to go to random. There is an option for random list. That means I also need a list. Create list. I'm going to group the first two items as original grid I want to bring one number slider or maybe integer slider uh, and if I have like 10 amounts for X and Z this number should be also on 10 by minimum and it can go every one step so I want to assign this to my list, assign that to the amount. And you see we have a list of random numbers uh, with actually uh, 10 items inside. And now if I assign this to Y translation, you see it worked only for one of the elements over there. That's because we have one set of uh, 10 items on the X direction and one set of 10 items on the Z direction, but it's working on only one of them. That means I need to increase these values to 10. So going from 0 to 9, you need to connect that number to all of them. And now you see we have randomized number. Uh, because we have a list within a list and we have 10 items within each of the 10 lists. That means we have 100 elements uh, for the numbers. And you remember that we also had 100 elements because of the size of the grid. Now if I turn the preview off here, you see that we only have the randomized uh, set of grids. I want to group this as randomized y translation amount this is responsible with how much we are moving the points in the y direction and uh, for this new set of points I want to create a NURBS surface by points if I connect geometry which is the points to points you see that we have a NURBS surface here. Now we can work with different items here. For instance, now the size of the grid is like uh, 10 meters by 10 meters because we have uh, an amount of 10 with a step size of 1. And because the units are set to meters in Revit, that means it's a 10 by 10. So let's say if I want uh, the points to be closer to each other, if I assign like 0.5, to the step size. Now it's um, 0.5 times 10, which means uh, this is still 5 meters by 5 meters. Uh, you can also assign different values to X and Z, 
let me ungroup this I can bring another sequence so copy and paste the same two nodes and uh, this can go to my Z and now I have individual control over X and Z for instance on the Z sides uh, maybe I can change this value to like point uh, 75 uh, also you can work with the amount values let's say maybe on the uh, Z direction I want to have eight elements instead of ten and on this direction I want to have only six instead of ten so now this is uh, six by point five that's three meters and this one is eight by point seven five uh, which is like about uh, six meters in height. You can still work with the values. Feel free to go with uh, a smaller values for the step size. For instance, if I change this to 0.4, it means the points are going to be closer to each other. Uh, so we can work with all these numbers. We can also use number sliders instead of code blocks to have more flexibility. I'm going to group these again as original grid. Also, it seems that some of the numbers here are too exaggerated when moved in the y direction. So we can um, divide the numbers by like some values larger than 1 and then assign this to the y translation and you see this is now a little bit more fluid, a little bit um, less exaggerated okay you can work with different numbers if I go with a higher number for the y value uh, the amount of uh, modification would be more okay now I want to show you a new trick we have a surface if I go to geometry surfaces surface we have an item which is very interesting and it says get ISO line I want to bring that one assign the nerve surface to the surface and you see it creates one line which is exactly aligned with uh, the surface right uh, the ISO direction you can assign 0 or 1 see what happens when I change that from the default value which is 0 to 1 it's gonna go with horizontal lines actually you can change this back to zero but if you want to create some shelves I want to have horizontal lines so I want to put this on one uh, also under parameter the default value is zero see what happens when I change it to like 0 0.5 it's gonna move the line by half of the height of this panel so if I go with point uh, one is going to move it to the one tenth of the height. Now, what if I assign a sequence here instead of one single parameter? We're going to have a lot of lines then, right? Let's say this starts from zero. So let's say I want the step size to be like point zero five or point uh, one. It means that for every 10% of the height I want to have one more line I can assign this to parameter and you see now we have 10 lines uh, because we have uh, 10 values on the amount I can change this for instance to 11 so I'm gonna have the one last line at the end uh, so if you are asking what's the, the height difference between the two lines we need to check the height because the height is reading from here 0 0.75 times 8 the height of this shelf is actually 6 meters if I change this to like 0 0.5 by 8 it's gonna be now 4 meters that makes more sense and now this is 10% of 4 meters which is um, 40 centimeters uh, the difference between the height between the lines is 40 centimeters which is perfect for a shelf so now I have some ISO lines maybe I could also hide the nerve surface I just wanted the lines to create some shelves 
and uh, I can go with second curve how much do I want to second that? by the width of the shelf let's say maybe it's 30 or 35 centimeters I need to assign a normal let's see what happens if I assign the z-axis to the normal that seems good now uh, this is exactly what I wanted these are my shelves now last step is just to uh, patch these curves actually I need to patch uh, the closed curves not patch by points I want to go with patched by closed curves connect this to that and now we have a set of surfaces and finally if we just thicken the surfaces by maybe a value such as 3 centimeters which is going to be the thickness of the shelves assign this to that we're going to have a set of shelves each of them is about 40 centimeters minus 3 uh, which is 37 centimeters above each other the thickness is 0 0.03 and we have 11 of them uh, now each of the values you change here you're going to see that uh, in the final product for instance if I change the amount of this value which we use to divide the randomized number and assign it to y if I increase that number it's going to be a little bit less exaggerated you see uh, you can work with very different things you can change the height from here you can change the thickness of the shelves maybe they are thicker maybe they are four or five centimeters and uh, you can also hide everything else that you don't want to see here uh, such as the grid which is this one I can make it a little bit organized by grouping the items uh, for instance here I want to group these four items as my nerves surface Uh, then we have the ISO lines I'm going to group these items as ISO lines and finally we have the shelves actually I want to group all of these as shelves it seems all good if you want to import all of them back to Revit you can just put import uh, maybe geometries connect this to that I can go to my Revit and you see we have the shelves here and if I go to manage object styles go to imported objects the material is here you can go with some dark wood for the shelf material I want to create a new material rename it as wood which is dark maybe I can go to the asset browser I can type wood you can go with uh, very different woods that we have here we have more options if we click on these items we have walnut that should be interesting maybe I could go with walnut I can assign some color to graphics if I put this now on shaded or realistic uh, this is how uh, the file is gonna look like by the end the reason you see some lines over there is that it's just some ghosts from Dynamo you need to save your file close it and open it again and those uh, lines will be gone